Okay, so that's one of the uh, announcement I forgot. Um, the other thing, I guess I forgot that your textbook covers it here. here. Um, how many here are familiar with the exponential decay? Like as a function, you have seen it, right? And this is what your textbook calls radioactive decay law. How many here have heard the phrase half-life? Like half-life of uranium 238 is, I don't know, million years. Um, and so if you started out with 100,000 atoms, <laughs> then you, after a half-life, you have 50,000, give or take a few, right? What about another, after another half-life? Half of that, right? All of that sounds familiar, right? Let me just tell you one thing that may not have been pointed out to you before. Um, it's that when a, when, when a lifetime curve of something follows an exponential decay, that actually has a very special meaning, physically spe speaking. It means, um, so if this is number of uranium atom, what that means is uranium has no age. It has, it's ageless, or that sounds a little bit mysterious, let me put it this way. An uranium atom that's a million years old has as much chance of dying, as much chance of decaying in the next minute as uranium atom that was produced just now. It's because this function is a solution to this differential equation that says that the uh, rate of, oops, um, that's the solution, that says that the rate of decay is, um, so this is the rate of decay, is it, the exponential decay, it's a result of an underlying physical law that says that the rate of change of the total number is simply proportional to the number. Or in other words, if you have a given single uranium atom, it has some constant, um, uh, likelihood of decay in the next uh, minute. Um, it's it, it just constant. There's no other um, factors. It, whether the history of the uranium atom doesn't come into it. So if you just discover uranium atom here right now, then you don't care if it's been there for a billion years or just uh, for 100 years. Either way, the, so that's what I mean that when a particle exhibits this kind of um, lifetime behavior, then they are ageless. There is nothing you can use to determine their age because they're contrasted with the humans. Like people follow a bathtub curve. As in when you are born, that's when people are most likely to die, like birth defect or whatever. Then after you make it past one year, then you become much less likely to die. And that continues in most developed countries up until you are like 60, 70, 80, then you now your mortality rate, rate starts to go up as your organs fail, as you get cancer. Um, so that's where you actually have, you show age because your death rate is different at different stages of your life. This is a result of where your death rate is constant no matter where you are in your life cycle. So that's an um, interesting thing that um, sometimes doesn't get brought up. <laughs>